This is how you make, control and utilize a do while loop in c -sharp. Let's get going. Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian, this is Sharp Programming and welcome to How to Code. Now today we're taking a look at do whiles. Uh, this is a form of loop utilized by c -sharp. Now, uh, a do while loop will literally be an infinite loop until a certain uh, integer or string contains something that you've set it to uh, be the parameter of when to stop. So we'll do a, we'll have a redo, and this will be equal to zero because it's an integer. Um, and then we'll use it down here. So we'll say uh, it will do whatever is in these two brackets uh, while redo equals zero, and then a same like colon. So uh, everything within here will be done infinitely until we tell it not to. Uh, and to demonstrate it, we will just do a, oh shit, that's not how you do, a console, console right line, and let's get it to just write out hello. And we will see this effect, and we can also put in a little pause. So I'll put in a little pause. All right, so the do while is now looping, and you can see it just continues forever and ever and ever. And it's starting to expand over here, you can see the, uh, little scroll wheel here we can scroll for like hours okay so we've seen that it just keeps going there is no end to it now how do we stop it then hmm that's a very good question let's look at that all right so here's a brief example of how you might want it to stop this infinite loop so it will write out hello and then it'll add one to our int called counter now this is the way to keep uh, track of how many times we've looped through and uh, it will check if the counter is equal to 10. So if you want to uh, run through this loop 10 times, and then it will set redo to one. So as long as redo is not zero, this loop will stop. So let's check it. Hello, 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 hello. Bye. Stopped. Okay. So uh, to tell how many times it ran through this loop, we'll have a little read line. And this is just to prove my point here. Okay. So we'll run through. You'll be like, hello. 10 times, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 8, 9, 10. There you go. Pretty simple. You do some counting, you do some uh, figuring out, maybe you'll have like a gaming thing in here, maybe you're making a game, maybe you're making some sort of software and you want it to continually loop through in case it fails. It's a fail safe. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you know anyone who would benefit from all this, uh, send them this video, share this video, leave a like for me, uh, leave a comment. I do get back to all of you. I love hearing back from you. So thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.